I'm coming for your queen and your crib and your car and your spot and especially that motherfucking crown. The base that I boom is cracked that I Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's FFLo here bringing you another video and today we are playing Ranked Joust once again. And uh, I am on the Smurf and I'm solo queuing, man. We're gonna get back to we're gonna get back to the videos I used to make when I started this thing, right? Uh, lately I've been playing a lot with teammates. So I've kind of gotten away from like the solo queue commentary and more so um, just playing with teammates and making call outs and kind of just having fun and all that jazz. So I'm going to get back to what I used to do, man. What I built this YouTube channel off of, and that's the solo queue commentary video. So we'll see what happens in this one. <sighs> I don't know. It just feels like, not that I'm not having fun solo queuing, but we all know how solo queue goes, bro. But I guess if you play so much of the game, it really doesn't bother you too much i don't know that's just me i don't mind solo queue and i know as much as many times as we've you know we ran into the problem where it's like most of the teammates are shitty that you get <laughs> unfortunately um i still kind of have fun playing by myself and not having to worry about my teammates and all that good stuff so um i do need to play I got a list of gods that I want to just try out, so we'll see what we get here. I might just play Marty. I think we'll play Marty. Now, Marty has not been played in quite some time in ranked Joust since they nerfed him on the last map. Uh, you haven't seen too much Marty. Obviously, people play him. Every god people play. Uh, a little bit of him. Just activate that. Like, every god gets played, right? There's always, like, a top 10 leaderboards on basically every god in every ranked mode. Um, but, you don't typically see Marty, Marty Karas being played anymore. Simply because they just nerfed him. They nerfed the damage that he does, so he's not really, like, that one-shotty hunter that he used to be. But also, I think that's because of the, the builds. I think Soldier's pretty bad. Now, it is getting buffed in the next patch. It's going to go up from, uh, I think they're raising it 5 power on the pre and post version of it. It's like, it does 5 more power when you buy it, and then when it's when it ranks up, when you finish stacking it, it does 5 extra power as well. So, um, I think it might come back for gods like Marty, gods like AMC, you know, those ability-based hunters. I don't really think you need to pick it up, though. Um, sorry, let me turn it off. I think you should probably skip the Soul Eater. Like, so many people are just used to building Marty, like Bluestone, Trans. Um, what's the after Trans usually? Uh, Bluestone, Trans, Soul Eater, uh, Fail Not, Crusher, Hard Seeker. But I think you should probably go in the route of just Jotun's Rush now. I think that's probably the best way to build Marty now. Until, you know, until we test out Soul Eater and we see what, what happens. But... For, for definitely right now, I think Jotun's is the way to go. So, Bluestone, Jotun's, uh, Trans, Fail Not, Crusher, Heartseeker. You could slip in a Green X C if you need to. Like, you know, they have a Geb. So, maybe a Green X C instead of Crusher would probably be the way to go in this game. Just because they have the the shields. Uh, the shield has not, our execution has not been nerfed yet. So, right now, when you do land an auto attack, just a single auto attack, you do apply the full anti-heal and anti-shield that green xe gives um that's not really a problem with marty given that his passive just uh pretty much procs that all automatically like i, I can't remember exactly how to explain it but um you land an auto with marty Gras and it ticks for uh i'm explaining this terribly hold on let me pull it up so i can just read it to you because it's super annoying trying to explain it um, blah, 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 blah. Oh. The manticores have been mercilessly slaughtered by the gods. Now, I don't really understand how to ex explain to that. Them. Basically, if I land auto attacks, man, it does like DOT. I'm just going to skip this part out. Alright, we're gonna go 
We're gonna go blue stone rush. Um, beads and skip that. I would love to get this, so. Um, we're gonna pretty much try and prioritize getting creative with these here. I think there's gonna be fire. Should just guarantee us red. We'll see though. I don't think he got his dash. I don't think. Oh, maybe he did. I didn't think the Agni got his dash, but I guess he did. Well, we got first blood already. That's his dash. I don't think I missed. I don't think I missed. I might have missed the one, though. I don't know. Marty is a really good character in the late game, obviously, man. But uh, the early game, he really, really lacks. Which in this meta. And there's the alt for the double kill. Yeah, I was gonna say, you gotta get the fuck out of there. We have a really oppressive squad. So, got the double kill there. <clears throat> For Marty, is really, really good at, honestly. It's uh, being able to get up in the air like that. Now, I don't have the safety with my ult anymore. It's gonna be too super tough to... Uh... I Geb probably could have killed here, honestly. My beads are down. Here's the Geb ball. Good damage on the Geb though. She has a taunt, he dies. This man lagging? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. It looked like he was lagging. I probably shouldn't have killed him. Seems like it's just gonna be game. It's gonna be one of those games. Yeah, I think this game is going to be over. Damn it, man. I hate uploading stomps. But in this case, I am just going to upload it because I want to get a Marty game in and I'm solo queuing. I don't know how long I have to play. So I for sure got this one game. I might have another game. But I don't know. If the next game is shitty, then we'll just upload this one. So we got Jones online. So the reason why I say Soul Leader is not that great is because Jones Vigor is pretty much just the same thing it's less consistent on the heel but honestly the threshold that you get it at super low so vigor every time you drop below 60 percent health which is a very high threshold 50 percent movement speed and 30 percent physical ability lifesteal for, for eight seconds and that's every 15 seconds so you lifesteal back up and you pretty much get that that fat lifesteal and then soul eater um four percent of damage dealt this is what you heal for get 10 flat pin which is really good but Jotun's gives 15 if I'm not mistaken uh, no it doesn't it gives 10 all right let me get out here I want to say this game is just over so we can just talk about it but anyways like soul leader is obviously every ability you heal you hit you get life steal but, it's not as strong as Lifesteal. And uh, for 600 gold, you can essentially get the same item, just slightly less, slightly lesser version.
I was all over the place there with that all, huh? I didn't know if I wanted to go on Geb right or just go Agni. I thought Agni would just dash out. See, I got the Vigor. I didn't have a wave, but I had the Vigor proc there. Three seconds, I'll get it again. There it is. Look at the heals, man. Look how much we just healed for. Killed his ass. This damage we're doing. Should hit. Yep. Gab's just watching. <laughs> Gab's just watching them take damage. This is a 10 minute surrender for sure. They don't really know how to deal with it. But just goes to show like what this god can do, man. I'm still gonna upload this. We are. Uh, this account you can see the bottom left right there on Gautherbot the uh, amount of MMR I have on this account so this is a pretty low bracket but even still man it's it's not like it is me doing everything it's Vulcan and this uh, I'm assuming Mulan. Vulcan and Athena are playing really well together so for sure gonna be a 10 minute surrender if it's not I don't know what they're doing but we could just talk about Marty for a little bit, man. He just kind of fell off a little bit, you know? When they nerfed him, they, they just, everybody's just like, oh, we're just going to use Hachi X-Ball. All the strong, strong hunters. But I feel like in a, in a meta where double frontline is a thing. Um, in a meta where double frontline is a thing, Marty's really good to just sit in the back line and kind of just free cast. He's uncontested because it's hard to get past that front line initially. But when he, when you do, when you do uh, get like three, four items online, he just kind of kills people. Just kind of kills for free. And then they can't get to you. And if they do get to you, you just alt out. It's actually pretty nutty. Alright, let's go get trans online. This game's probably only gonna last another two and a half minutes. So yeah, man, I'm back. I'm just gonna get back to to solo queuing. Not a lot, but um, enough to where I can get some videos pumped out, man. Because a lot of my viewers do enjoy when I just solo queue and just kind of do what I'm doing now, commentate and just have fun. Like I gotta let loose, make fun of my randoms, blame everything on them. You know how it goes. Man, it's just eating the damage. You cannot hide from me. There we go, there's the bull. Pretty textbook stuff here. They have Vulcan turrets. The only reason why I didn't go toward uh, Bull Demon there, they didn't need me to take that. Uh, Vulcan very, very good at, at pressuring out those objectives, especially that Bull Demon. He just lays turret down. I think can tank, and the turret just lays into it, it ignores the penetrations. So just a super, super high pressure team that we drafted here with the Athena setup. Um, I think they're just one of those gods that doesn't do a lot of damage, so if you do draft her, you just need to make sure you're drafting a lot of damage with her. Uh, which is exactly what they did. I want to try to get a blink alt off him. I'm not a blink off on him. Yeah, they see me over here. My ult's down for 15.
I wanted Athena to go in here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, well, I will see you guys in the damage and builds. Not much to talk about here, huh? Alright, so... Like I said, we don't have a lot to talk about here, because that game was just so fast. Um, I don't even need to hide my cam to talk about builds here. Um, unsure what he was going for here with the Griff Ring rush into Xe when we only have an Athena. I guess he really just wanted to burst down the Athena. Probably not what I would have did. I probably would have went Asi if I was on her. Now, I don't play ADC, so keep that in mind. I don't really... That doesn't mean I don't know how to build them. But uh, he didn't really go starter here. Cal into Griffin Wing would have been really good. He would have got basically 60%. Um, or not 60, 50% attack speed off just those two items alone. I don't mind the XE, but I don't think they needed it at all. Um, he probably should have just went Asi or Devos. Had some power. So he could just smack on her just traditionally one of the better i mean traditionally like early pressure hunter um the best hunter in my opinion right now in rank joust in the current meta so take advantage of that early power spike that he gets he didn't need xe because he's got the prot shred on his uh passive so really weird but anyways let's talk about the marty man uh i think volka might out damaged me no he did not i had almost ak I didn't really do much. You saw that. I feel like I didn't do much. Just constantly throwing abilities with Jotuns and healing. You saw how much I, I healed off that wave when the Vigor proc is uh, active and you actually get to hit the wave. You don't lifesteal off the wave too much anymore since they made that change a couple patches ago. You lifesteal more off gods, but still a ton of lifesteal off of this. Um, like I said, as opposed to Soul Eater, which uh, I'll pull Soul Eater up right now. And I'll get a little side-by-side -side comparison which you're not going to be able to see on st on stream. But we can just talk about it. And, and it. Like I said, it is getting buffed. So so Evolve Soul Eater. You basically get 15% lifesteal. And your abilities heal you for 15% of the damage you deal to targets. Um, you get 9% lifesteal off the T1. And your abilities heal you for 4% of the damage dealt. Um, you gain a stack, 100 stacks it evolves, you gain 6% lifesteal and 15 power. But this you get 30% physical ability lifesteal, and that's when you drop below 6% health. You also get a movement speed, 50% movement speed buff, that's every 15 seconds. So if you, with gods like this where you're constantly lifestealing, especially with Marty when he's got the passive lifesteal, you're going to drop below that threshold pretty easily, and you're going to raise back up. Um, with the lifesteal and when you drop below 60% again, which is such a low threshold or high threshold. I mean uh, Procs all the time. You're just gonna you're gonna constantly shift in your health and get that proccing all the time Essentially never dying especially the trans you just don't run out of mana So I really like this build on him with the Jotuns and the trans uh, my next item would have been fail not For giving me max cooldown so I could just spam and then crush your heart seeker now I probably would have skipped crusher for this game because I had a gap um, I don't really recommend going Executioner on Marty, but if you need to because of like a Gab, a Nike, Charon, those really, really tanky um, shield appliers, I would probably say skip the Crusher, go Executioner. Um, you can fit it in there. It's not troll. It's actually pretty good. You get the prod shred, and then your abilities are dealing so much more damage because of the XE passive. And on Marty, again, when they do nerf Executioner Green Glyph, because um, right now it says you hit them with a flick them with a poison poison reduces their healing for 40% shields applied on them reduced by 50 oh okay so I just completely fucked that up sorry hit your enemy hit sex ugh, dude retake successfully hitting an enemy god will afflict them with a poison for 3 seconds it reduces their healing by 40% and shields applied on them are reduced by 50 they're changing that to where now it's like a stack so you apply one stack of 4 kind of like you do on the uh, basic attacks for reduction the uh, protection reduction and you're going to reduce their protections also applying anti-heal per stack and shield uh, reduction per stack but with marty passive you just get that pretty much instantly so yeah not a lot to cover there man i kind of made this video a little bit longer than it needed to be uh it was pretty much just us farming that on her i don't know he's playing weird he's probably super super low level um i apologize dr woodgrain if you watch this back <laughs> Um, but anyways guys if you like that video go ahead don't forget to like and subscribe and show some love in the comments and I'll catch y'all in the next video